friends welcome to my bedroom so today as i'm sure you could tell from the title of the video we will be doing a candle collection haul and um as some of you know i love candles i have a lot of them um so i'll just be going through some of them i kind of separated them um spring summer scents and then fall winter scents so i'll do spring summer first because that's the season we're in and if you like the sound of some of these scents and are inspired you can order them um so yeah let's get started grab your iced coffee or your snacks because it's gonna be a long one all right so let's start off with one of my ogs this is one of my og original scents original scents og signature scents one of the scents that i used to like live off of um i don't actually use it as much anymore but after today and smelling again i might go back to it it is phenomenal <laughs> i say phenomenal a lot in these videos i've noticed so i'm gonna try not to say them say that anyway so this is pink sands from yankee candle and i do have it pulled up I'll show you one more time then i'll put it away pink sands I have it pulled up on my phone so I can read the notes to you so if anyone doesn't know about candles the note the top note is like your first impression the initial impression of the candle of the fragrance um the middle note is the main body of the scent so it's like what you're smelling the majority of the time and then the base is the final impression so for pink sands the top note is citrus melon and berry which for me i kind of think it smells like a watermelon jolly rancher but like not but i think that's the citrus melon and berry gives me that um and then the middle note is as osmanthus I don't know what that is and the base is spicy vanilla musk and woody notes so to me I feel like it's kind of like a fruity floral sweet but not sickly sweet scent and it says that it is a floral scent it's an exotic island escape in the beautiful mix of bright citrus sweet florals and spicy vanilla anyway love it test it out next time you're near a Yankee candle um let's see what else we got going on this one, I don't believe they have anymore. It's also Yankee Candle. It is Cozumel Coral Reef. Um, it's kind of similar to, um, to Pink Sands, but I feel like it's a little warmer, a little... A little heavier or thicker is not a good explanation for a candle, but... This one I feel like is like fresher and lighter and juicier. And then this one has the same like idea, but it's a little warmer, if that makes sense. It does. That's okay. Um, so let's see what else I have going on. Uh, that's not really a spring scent. I don't know why that's there. Um, Beach Breeze. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh. <gasps> This is from Bath and Body Works Beach Breeze. I have barely used this. Um, it's clearly from a summer or two ago. I'm just going to look it up real quick so I can read you the notes. Beach Breeze Bath and Body Works. Okay, let's read these notes, shall we? Oh my god. Perfect peony. That sounds amazing. Don't get distracted, Jenny. Beach breeze. There are some of these that I'm definitely not going to be able to look up because they're like random purchases. I don't even know where they are. Some of them are from Target. Some of them were gifts. Um, so, uh-oh. I'm wondering if this candle is also expired. Not expired. Retired. Beach Breeze Candle. Oh no. Yeah, that's not on the website either. So we might have to give up on this idea. But it smells so good. What it reminds me of is like a beach house. Like if you rent a beach house, 
you first walk in and it's like clean and the windows are open and it's just like ugh. it smells a little soapy but not in a bad way so it's like when you come off the beach and you take a shower and it's not too hot so the air doesn't have to be on but the windows are open and it I literally didn't even, yo, Bath and Body Works did that. They captured a beach breeze and I didn't even peep it. I didn't even realize that's, yes, I'm so sorry that this no longer exists because it smells amazing and I want everyone to get it. Um, what else we got? Let's just go with the um, Bath and Body Works and then we'll switch to the randoms. So this is Fluffy Towels. Oh, this is Yankee Candle. <laughs> but this was also one of my original OG scents. Um, my go-tos, Fluffy Towels and Pink Sands used to be like, that's it. That's all I would get. Um, and this is A Warm House Makes a Glowing Home. And Fluffy Towels sounds exactly what it would sound like. It sounds like, it smells like freshly laundered towels and like, straight out the dryer nice and fluffy and warm oh remember those commercials with the little teddy bear that was like in the in the linens in the laundry it smells like home um let's see what else we have okay back to bath and body works so white barn and Bath and Body Works are the same company. So if you see White Barn, it's the same as Bath and Body Works. And this is Peach Bellini. And it smells delicious. It smells like a Peach Bellini. Like legit. It smells like peach nectar and champagne all in one. And it's sweet and warm. And it smells sparkling. Like if you could smell sparkling, this smells like it. Ugh, and just smells like summertime. Like Go to brunch. When all this is over and we're all going to br brunch, br brunch. <laughs> when all this is over and we're going to brunch, I'm getting me some peach bellinis. Okay. Bam. All right. Next, we have one of my other favorites, which is now practically empty, and I'm very upset about it. I might have to place a candle order, to be honest, because I don't know if I can get through this quarantine without this. It's so good. Oh. This is Champagne Toast, also White Barn slash Bath and Body Works. And it, again, smells fresh and bubbly and beautiful. Bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. That's what this is. Um, so, yeah, it smells like sparkling berries and juicy tangerine and bubbly champagne and deliciousness. It smells me. Let's see if the peach bellini has something written on it too. Oh, whoa. The whole thing just slid out. Oh, that smells so good. We're going to put that back in here. Um, it says succulent white peach, sparkling prosecco, sweet orange with essential oils. Bomb. That's all I got to say about that one. Okay. Oh my God. It says it on here. Thank goodness. Why did I never look at the bottom? Um, this is one that is also Bath and Body Works and it's gingham. So last summer they came out with gingham and they came out with like the lotion, the mist, the body wash, all of it. And, um, I smelled it like when I got to the counter and I immediately, I've never lit it, but I immediately went, wanted it because it smells nostalgic and I couldn't put my finger on what it smelled like and people would ask me and I'd be like it smells like my childhood like it smells like classic 90s Bath and Body Works like um cucumber melon maybe something like that so let's see it's not cucumber melon um it's blue freesia white peach fresh clementine with essential oils I guess it's the freesia that makes me think of, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Why did I never light this? It's because I was stuck on champagne toast and peach bellini. But I'm about to rock this gingham. About to get that. 
uh, okay, so let's move on to some summer spring scents that are not Bath and Body Works. So I have this Water Lotus Soy Wax Blend Candle, pure, pure, <laughs> poured in the USA, the collection by Chesapeake Bay Candles. I'm pretty sure I got this at Target. And there's something in my mouth. Um, yeah, so it's just Water Lotus, it says. I just read the bottom. There's nothing on it that says anything else. Um, it's by Chesapeake Bay Candles. It's all right. I don't really know why I bought this, to be honest. It kind of just smells like candle. And even I remember burning this. I burnt a fair amount. But I remember burning it and thinking like, it just smells like a candle's burning. It doesn't smell like a scent. It smells like a candle's burning. So I don't know if I would recommend this. In fact, I might even ditch this, John. Get rid of that. I'm going to take a sip. Okay. Moving on. I have this candle. I don't know where I got this. It is eucalyptus and white tea. You have no idea where I got this from. But... Again, it kind of just smells like candle burning. Oh, I know where I got this. Oh my God. This candle was expensive for not to be all that it's cracked up to be. I'm a little upset. So there's this place here in Philly and they have them in California and I think one in New York too. And it's called... <laughs> it's called Bronzed and Honey. Honey and Bronzed. Sugared and Bronzed. Sugared and Bronzed. Because they do sugaring, like waxing, but sugaring and spray tanning. And I was going there for a while um, to get both sugared and spray tanned. And this is the candle that they always had burning. And they sold it. And I was like, oh my god, it always smells so good in here. So I bought this candle. It was really expensive. And I think they lied. I don't think this is why it smelled so good in there. I think they do light it. But I don't think this is why it smells good in there. Because this doesn't smell bad. But again, it just smells like candle burning. I don't. I don't know. Um, and then we've got this beach bonfire. Oh, that's upside down. Beach bonfire. I think my girl Tahara might have given me this as a gift. Tea. Smells freaking amazing. It smells like... I've had other like bonfire-y um, candles, but it doesn't smell like... Strongly a fire, but it smells like... It smells so good. I'm really bad at explaining scents, guys. I'm really sorry. It smells warm and sweet at the same time, but not like overly sweet. So I guess it smells like bonfire plus s'mores all in one, I feel like. It smells good. I like it. Um, I also don't really know why I put this in the spring summer. I think just because it's a beach bonfire, but I feel like this could be all year round because it's like not too fruity, fresh, floral. It's kind of warm, so you can use it all the time. All right, anything else over here? Okay, so I have, oh, over here I have White Sand Beaches. This is also from Bath & Body Works. This smells amazing. I think I won this at like a baby shower or bridal shower or something. Um, and this smells like Blue Waters, Tierra Flower, and Lavender. I don't know exactly what Blue Waters smells like. <laughs> but this kind of smells like man. A little bit. This smells like a men's cologne a little bit. Yeah. Definitely. I don't smell any lavender. I don't know what Tierra Flower smells like or Blue Waters. But it smells a little bit like a man. I ain't hating it. I ain't mad at it um other candles we have so this one I got when I was in Amsterdam I believe it's a British company the very good candle company oh no it's Amps it's it's an Amsterdam company the very good candle company hand poured in Amsterdam and I think I really wanted a big one but you know luggage so I only got this tiny one and it's ylang ylang yuzu and tea tree it smells good this isn't what I remember it smelling like. I wonder if I grabbed the wrong one. 
I think I might have grabbed the wrong one when I was there and just never checked. Because I don't think this is the one that I was smelling in the store and was like, I need it. Because this isn't typically a scent I would go for. It's very medicinal because of the tea tree. Who knows, it might smell good when it's burnt. That's all I gotta say about that one. Um, this is one I got from work as a gift. And it doesn't have the scent on it. This smells a little manly as well, in a good way. And like fire, it smells like fire as well, like a wood fire, wood burning fire. I wish I knew what the scent was. This was a fail. Anyway, um, and then the last one I want to talk about before we move on to fall and winter scents is this one I made at Wax and Wine. This is a place where you can go with your friends, your family, go on a date, whatever. Um, and you, it's BYOB, you bring your own wine, um, whatever you want, some snacks too you can bring. And then you make candles and you can either purchase the one candle package or the two candle package. This sounds like a promo. It's not. I'm not sponsored by Wax and Wine. But if you'd like to sponsor me, Wax and Wine, I love candles and I love wine. Um, so I went, I've only gone once, but I planned on going a lot more, but now we're in quarantine. But as soon as we're out, I'm going to make me some more candles. But anyway, so this is one of my candles and it's a more springy summer scent. And then my other one is a more fall winter scent so this one you get to name your candle you go through the room and there's just like three walls four walls of scents that you smell and then you get to combine the scents and like test it out like measuring the um not percentages ratios of like the scents so anyway I named this sweet jenny <laughs> because it is sweet pea and jasmine um and it's very floral it's sweet pea and jasmine but it also weirdly enough has like a sunscreen smell to it i don't know how or why but i like it and clearly i haven't burned it yet because we went back in october for my birthday um so that is all those are all my spring summer candles and so now we will move on to my fall winter candles. I'm sorry that this is a a long video and B I'm really bad at explaining candles so I'm so sorry but at least you get to see a little bit of what I have and it might give you some ideas or like perk the imagination. Who knows? Anyway let's get started with some of my themes. A classic sweater weather. Oh my god just smelling it. I could smell it without even opening it. <gasps> From Bath and Body Works slash White Barn Sweater Weather. This just like makes me so happy and also when I smell it, it reminds me so much of my girl Erin and just like fun fall times. You know what I mean? Like back in the day when we were in college slash right after graduation of college, we lived off of this. We would go do fun fall things and be fun and young and happy and wild and free anyway let's read what this says falls here at last grab your cable knit and breathe in the crisp air in an autumnal mix of eucalyptus juniper berry and fresh shade i can't say that fresh sage listen if you've never smelled sweater weather sweater weather sweater weather sweater weather if you've never smelled this I don't know where you have been or what you have been doing with your life, but I need you to go to Bath and Body Works slash White Barn as soon as this lockdown is over. Well, actually, it's not going to be there, hopefully, as soon as this lockdown's over, because hopefully we're out of lockdown before fall. But as soon as fall hits, I need everyone to go get this. But maybe not, because, like, then there won't be left any left for me. So, um... One of my other go-tos, which is empty, and I'm really upset about it because I don't just use this in the fall slash winter. I use this year-round, and it is Paris Cafe from White Barn slash Bath and Body Works. And it smells like you would think it would smell like. It smells like rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, right? 
brioche. I think it would be a biscotti, but oh, I guess biscottis are Italian. Wow, Jenny. And vanilla cream. So, I'm so sad. I can't wait until this is over so I can get, I might have to order it. I might not even be able to wait. I'm just going to have to order it. Anyway, moving on. Hot cocoa and cream. This I do only use in the fall and winter, but I love it. It literally smells like fresh, homemade, hot chocolate with cream. And it has decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. And it's so good. I first smelled this when I was house slash pet sitting for a friend. And this was in her bedroom and it was like winter time. Yes, and there was a snowstorm and I was snowed in at that house with the animals and I did not prepare for it. So I didn't have enough food or anything, but I had this lit the whole time and then I was just like, all I want is hot chocolate. Oh my God. And then I went out and bought this candle because it's freaking amazing. Oh, it's so good. But we're in springtime now, so I need to not get obsessed with it. What else we got going on in here? This one I was also a gift maybe to Hera as well. Not sure. This is Coconut Wax Blend Lavender Hemp. And so, let's see. Yeah, it just says Lavender Hemp. It smells really good. I've never lit it because I was obsessed with the other ones. But this could be all year round too because it's just lavender. It smells really good. Nice lavender candle. Um, okay, one of my OG Yankee Candle scents. This was like, back in the day, I never liked winter or Christmassy scents except this one. And it is Sugared Apple. And I'm pretty sure they retired it. I'm not positive, but I think they did. But it smells so good. It's like crisp apple, but like warm and sugary. And it's just, oh, it smells so good. I hope they didn't retire this. They better not have retired that. Some other ones that are in my collection, but I don't really, I think, my sister, if anyone didn't know, my sister used to work at Yankee Candle. So, some of these she just gave me because she was getting rid of in her collection. But, this is, what is this? Bubbly Champagne. This smells like lemon to me. Like, honestly, it would touch my lip. <laughs> this smells like a lemon cleaning product. I don't hate it, but I don't consider this bubbly champagne. What I do consider champagne is not not here. Oh, here we go. This John. This champagne. This lemon cleaner. Just saying. Again, I'm not mad at it. I like a good I like a good pine saw or whatever it's called. Um, what else we got in here? This one's another one. It's called in Crackling Enchanted. This smells nice. This is a new one that she just gave me. It just smells light and fresh. It smells nice. Um, and then, like I said, when... Oh, this one's right in front of me and I didn't even see it. This is another one from Yankee, which used to be one of my, like, all-time scents. It's Tea Time. It smells like, um... Earl Grey and it's so good I just love it it's a good one too it's a good classic um and then I have I'll talk about this 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 one later this is good. but speaking of Christmassy winter scents and I said like I never used to like them but now I do this one is called crackling pine cone and it smells so good it smells like pines and pine cones and winter and a forest and a Christmas tree and loveliness. But I will tell you, this one right here, this is the best, this is the best Christmas tree scent. If you like Christmas tree scents, you need this one. Um, this, my girl Mary, who owns the salon I used to work at, gave me this for Christmas one year, and it's from Times, T-H-Y-M-E-S, Times. Um, 
and they are made in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is called Fraser Fur. And it's just everything you need. And honestly, you don't even have to light this and it scents up the room. I keep it in a drawer. So most of these I keep on a shelf, on my bookshelf, but some of them are in a drawer. Some of the ones that like you can smell even because like this doesn't have a top or like other ones that are really strong and you can smell them. I keep it in a drawer, but like this one, even sometimes if I walk past that drawer, I can smell it. And it's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh, yes. So, if you are looking for a good Christmas tree scent, this is the only one you need to look for. Only one. And I'll show you. That's what it looks like. T-H-Y-M-E-S. Fraser Fur. So good. Okay, now on to my fall winter wax and wine again not sponsored but wax and wine hit me up you girl loves some wax and some wine candles <laughs> um so this one is my more you can see it's like almost done fall winter and I called it morning cup and it is fresh coffee and fallen leaves so I combined those two scents of fallen leaves and fresh coffee and it's so good. I love this. Again, this is one I would use all year round, even though technically it is a fall winter scent. But like ones like this and Paris Cafe. That's not Paris Cafe. Paris Cafe. I love them. Would use them all year round. I live. So that's basically my candle collection. I'm sure I'm missing some somewhere, but that's what the majority of my candles are. I'm sorry if this was a really long and boring um video not too exciting i'm really bad at explaining scents but hopefully i gave you some inspiration and honestly it just gave me something to do throughout the quarantine so hope you are well hope you are staying safe and you are taking care of yourself and everyone around you and if you have any video ideas or suggestions or you have any questions for me please let me know and i'd love to make those videos for you so Give this a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, comment down below, share it with your friends and family, and see you next time. Okay, love you, bye. Mwah, mwah.